Hello everyone and welcome to Spellbound Stories, the channel where I explore the mysteries and legends of ancient civilizations. I'm your host Black, and today I have a very special video for you. I'm going to tell you the truth about Bastet, the cat goddess of ancient Egypt, and how she became the queen of cats. But before we begin, I have a question for you. Do you love cats? If you do, then you might want to thank Bastet, because she is the reason why cats are so revered and adored in many cultures. She is also the reason why cats have nine lives, and why they can see in the dark. How did she do that? Well, you'll have to watch the video to find out. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload two videos every week, on Mondays and Thursdays, where I uncover the secrets and stories of the ancient world. So, if you're into history, mythology, and mystery, this is the channel for you. Alright, let's get started. Bastet, the cat goddess, was one of the most popular and powerful deities in ancient Egypt. She was the daughter of Ra, the sun god, and the protector of the pharaoh and the people. She was also the goddess of love, joy, fertility, and healing. She had many roles and aspects, but the most fascinating one is how she became the cat goddess. You see, Bastet was not always a cat. In fact, she was originally a lioness, a fierce and ferocious warrior who fought the enemies of Ra and the pharaoh. She was also known as Sekhmet, the lioness goddess of war and destruction. She was so powerful and bloodthirsty that she almost wiped out the human race until Ra tricked her into drinking beer mixed with red dye, making her think it was blood. She got drunk and fell asleep, and Ra spared the humans. But Ra also wanted to calm down his daughter and make her more gentle and compassionate. So he changed her appearance from a lioness to a cat, a smaller and softer animal that was more suitable for domestication. He also gave her a new name, Bastet, which means she of the ointment jar. Why? Because the ointment jar was a symbol of protection and healing. And that's what Ra wanted Bastet to be, a protector and a healer, not a destroyer. Bastet accepted her new form and role and became the cat goddess that we know and love today. She was still a warrior, but a more balanced and benevolent one. She defended the pharaoh and the people from the evil snake Apep, who tried to swallow the sun every night. She also defended the cats, who were her sacred animals, and gave them special powers and abilities. She made them able to see in the dark, to sense the unseen, and to have nine lives. She also made them beloved by the humans, who worshipped them as incarnations of Bastet. The ancient Egyptians loved Bastet so much that they built a huge temple for her in the city of Bubastis, where thousands of cats lived and were cared for by the priests and priestesses. They also mummified cats and offered them to Bastet as a sign of respect and devotion. They even had festivals in her honor, where they danced, sang, and drank in celebration of the cat goddess. Bastet's cult was so popular that it spread to other countries and cultures, such as Greece and Rome, where she was identified with other goddesses, such as Artemis and Diana. She also influenced the modern culture, where she appears in comics, movies, and games as a symbol of cat power and magic. So there you have it, the truth about Bastet, the cat goddess, and how she became the queen of cats. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on Bastet and cats in general. Do you have a cat? What's its name? How do you feel about cats? Do you think they are divine or demonic? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video about Bastet, the cat goddess of ancient Egypt. If you learned something new and interesting, what do you think of Bastet and her story? Do you have a cat or want to have one? How do you feel about cats and their powers? And if you want to see more videos like this, where I reveal the fascinating truths and stories of the ancient world, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads. I post two videos every week, on Mondays and Thursdays, so stay tuned for more spellbinding content. Before you go, check out these other videos on the screen that you might be interested in. They are all about the mysteries and legends of ancient civilizations, and I'm sure you'll love them. Just click on the one you want to watch next, and I'll see you there. Until then, remember, the truth is out there, and it's more fascinating than fiction. This is Black, signing off from Spellbound Stories. Bye for now.